Welcome uh, back to Despera Forum, where we discuss our issues and try to address, you know, the disparagement of uh, our history. Uh, today's topic is going to be uh, prosperity abroad. Yes, let's talk about prosperity because we have to thrive. Why do we talk about prosperity? This is not a church. But yes, we want our people to, 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 to do well wherever we are across the world. Because the way we are going about life, everybody's just doing his or her own thing individually. We are not thriving. If we want to try, we should look at other people who have gone to different places and really taken over either a sector of the economy or the economy itself. Take, for example, look at the Indians in the tech industry. Look at the Jews. Capitalism itself, if you talk about capitalism, you talk about the Jews in the world. Look at the Chinese manufacturing industry. Yes, throughout the United States, Britain, Australia, anywhere you go, you see the Chinese, almost every kilometer they own a restaurant. What are we known for? This is why we have to discuss prosperity. Be why do I say this? Because there are tricks. There are things people can do, lay down rules. All we have to do is just duplicate it, copy it, and we will survive. We will do well. We will thrive as a people, not work, work, work in the medical care. Everybody is um, um, a nurse. Everybody is in the care, uh, caregiver. Five, ten years, your back, you're hurt because by the time you start, by the time you start these things, you're already old. Why can't we come together as a people, as a people, own schools, own hospitals? We have doctors everywhere, medical doctors everywhere. Why can't two or three doctors come together and then establish a clinic and then start life and then be known for? This is what these people are known for. And when your people, wherever they are from, come to that place, they have places they will be employed because they have people that understand them and not going to go through the grind of society. But again, this is diaspora forum. We have to do it right. Please, 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 if you have not subscribed, kindly click the bell below. Subscribe, like us, and leave comments. We'd really like to hear from you. Again, this is the Aspera Forum. And then we'll start with the proverb of the day. Take a look at that. Yes, it relates to exactly what we're talking about. One cannot sit down. You cannot sit down alone and plan for prosperity. Yes, one cannot sit down alone. You can't sit down one place. You can't keep doing the same job and expect to try to take over the economy. Yes, we try. We do, we're not chasing anybody away. Capitalism is like an elephant, the, the, the meat of an elephant. You can only do your part, take what you can. But guess what? Why take the bones? Go for the flesh, the meat. You could do it. But first, again, did you know? Take a look at that frame again. Look at his name, Garrett Morgan. Yes, look at Garrett Morgan. Garrett Augustus Morgan Sr. was an African-American inventor businessman and community leader with only an elementary school education. His most notable inventions include the traffic sig signal, yes, the rudimentary version of the modern three-way traffic light in the United States, Britain and Canada. In fact, across the world, he sold the rice to General Electric for just $40,000. He also created the gas mask that were used and saved a lot of lives in World War II. World, World War I, World War II, even myself, when I was in Kuwait and Iraq, I used those gas masks. He also created the G.A. Morgan hair straightener, and he also revamped sewing machine, amongst other inventions and paintings. Again, did you know? Garrett Morgan. He was like you and I. Subscribe like click the button and leave your comment below and then we'll go to do and go to the gist of the day prosperity abroad yes we gotta have a plan 
We got to have a plan because by the time most of us come to the United States, we are almost advanced in age. Most are like in their thir mid 30s, late 30s or going to 50s. So we have to have a plan quickly. It's not about coming to the United States if you have no place where you're going. It's not coming to, it's not coming abroad to an overstay. It means you are planning to ruin your life. Get it right. Do it right. Have someone who, who, who has accepted that the person can host you for at least six to one, one year, six months to one year before you can find your feet. Yes, without a plan, it's like without having a budget. If you do not have a budget in your life, you're planning to fail. And you know this. We know this. And then when you, when you arrive and you have a place, at least you can save some money. Go to school. Go to school. I repeat, go to school. The idea of just starting and then, you know, you get five, ten dollar jobs and then you do it and you think you're doing well, you're not doing well. It's only a question of time. And by the grace of God that you're healthy, because the day you fall ill without the medical insurance or anything, you are done. You are done. So please use the time you have. You have a little patience. Don't rush into this money thing. Either get a technical education or really go the academic route and then get, get yourself a certificate so that you, you will be qualified within the context of the society you're living in. You cannot come as a lawyer, as a medical doctor from whatever foreign country and come to come abroad and think you can transition. It's not going to work. Please learn from those of us who have suffered. Learn from those of us who have suffered, please. At the early stages, go to school, get a trade, start something. And then if you have your green card, please, like I said, the government jobs is not like it is in other African or Asian countries. It is good here. You have benefits at least. Benefits from point of view of little things like medical insurance, things that can set you up early. 20 to 30 years, you retire and then you can still do something for yourself. It has benefits. I said this before. Healthcare is, is dist look, without healthcare, you're just one paycheck away from living on the streets here. Yes, we've got to have a plan. We've got to have a plan. And then you have a high side hustle. So yes, you, you can't depend on one paycheck. If you're doing one thing, no, there got to be something else. Yes, when I was in Korea, that's when I learned it. Almost every family in Korea, they, uh, they have something they're doing in their kitchen, in their sitting room, in the evening, than watching TV. You've got to have a side hustle. You cannot depend on one thing. And that is why, please, 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 you gotta get married. Get married. If you're single, please, it's gonna be difficult, twice difficult. Because when you team up, look, not only that, yes, science, data has it, you live longer. Not only that, your income substantially increase, but it helps you coalesce, put your money together, and then do better and then buy a house. Buy a house abroad first of all. Get a house, 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 before you go and build whatever mansion you want in your foreign country. Yes, buy a house here so that you can build up equity. You can take money off that equity to do things. In fact, you can take money off the equity the houses build to actually take the money home and build whatever mansion you want to build. Yes, these are what others are doing. And then if you're going to raise your children, I'm sorry, I'm going to be very kind of fast about this because I don't want to take too much, too long on this thing. If you're raising your children, please, please, please look for the right zip code so that your children will get good education. Yes, good education is important. You can't say because the houses are cheap at this other side, west side, east side, north side, south side, and then you go live there. And then your children go to schools where not only destroyed and then they'll go have good, they have substandard education. Because the way it is, the way racism, repeat, the way racism, what racism has done is this, it has shifted wealth, it has shifted social amenities to certain zip codes and other zip codes are left to wander in penury. Do not let that be your fate or the fate of your sibling, your children. Yes. Yes, and if your children decide, and your children, please let your children understand, develop, raise them well. They don't understand. The world is moving towards service economy. There are certain causes if you just read, it might be a problem for the child, but remember, 
if your child if your child is tech inclined science inclined whatever it is encourage them but let them do well and target the service economy yes this are important just it's not about going to university taking up all those loans and at the end of the day you'll be condemned to a job that cannot you can't even you just work to pay the student loans yes yes these are things that are there that if we look at before we we'll look before we leap we will not destroy ourselves yes and please if you have an immigration issue people do fasting going to church talk, talking to your pastor is not going to help you fasting is not going to help you the truth is this find an immigration lawyer i said it yes find an immigration lawyer talk to the have a plan then you pray on the plan if you fast without a plan you are actually fasting to fail if you pray without the plan you are actually praying to fail as we know faith without work is useless yes face the truth and it will set us free everybody do not think your problems are peculiar to you because of who you are no these are human problems that can that have that, have, that can be solved it's like we have mental issues we have issues with us and we think oh this is out my thing no people do ask questions you'll be surprised the kind of people that have the cancer problems you do as well do not let pastors or churches prey on your heart the top the hardships here yes they depend on your fears on your woes when the same people that you tell these things to they do the right thing they see lawyers the immigration lawyers and get their papers regularized yes beware of these pastors and imams everything i always say is not spiritual yes there's god i believe in god but we have to face things the way they are then you present it the way it is because you have a plan then you tell god help me our people are just are just it's like like incubus we're suppressed 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 by our belief system this is not the way to go we can do better we can do better as a people. Be, be, be very careful of home people and problems. You got to tell them the truth. They all believe that the money is available. They don't know you do two jobs, three jobs. They don't know the kind of things you're going through. Tell them the fact, let them know. Tell your family the truth. Hmm? Tell them the truth. And then, please, 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 have personal insurance, have family insurance. Child, if you have a child, the best gift you can give to your child is child education fund. Yes! Yes! By the time the child is 18, if the child wants to go to college, there's money at least to start the first two, two, three years. If not, well, the child has something to start up with. Look around you. People which even shops, repair shops, vulcanizer shops, they do better than just work 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 we are killing ourselves yes we're working but we're killing ourselves at the day at the end of the day once we fall that is it what do we leave to us to our younger ones take advantage I, I repeat we have to take advantage of the small business loan available in this country yes you work for it you have social security work for it so guess what we got to team up merger we have to believe in mergers people come together merge merge it's not because everybody's scared. I can't marry so Everybody wants to do it alone. You cannot do it alone in this system. The system is bigger than you and I. We got to, I got to team up with somebody. Somebody else has to help me. Somebody have look, this is what I'm doing. I can't edit this video. Somebody has to do it. I got to pay somebody else. We got to, look, there are, like I keep saying, there are doctors everywhere. Why can't two, three doctors come together and set up a hospital, a clinic? 10, 15 years into the history, they have a hospital. Churches have nursery schools. Why can't two, three churches in the same zip code team together have a primary school, have a middle school? Yes, we can do it as a people. We've got to take advantage. There's money for us to do these things. Yes, that's how people prosper. Not just you do it alone as a caregiver. You watch dead bodies, watch people behind, and you think you're doing well. When mentally you know you think as a person. We've got to do things that will give us pride as a people and survive. We've got to come together. We've got to merge. 
and we must refuse to be trapped in debt. Everybody be, oh, I have to ride the biggest cars because you want to show up. Show up to whom? Who cares? If you don't need a ride like those in New York or California or even in Chicago where I am, I take train. I don't use the car. Two weeks, I don't even get into the car. Don't trap yourself in debt. Please, please, please. Get out of debt. Pay it off. Be yourself. Yes, buying a house, having insurance, your children, training them well, going to school is a secret of survival. You have to have insurance. Own something. Own something. Repeat, own something. You have, you have shops. Look, everywhere I go, I see Chinese shops. I see Indian shops. I see other people. Look, it may be in one zip code, you just have maybe one Ghanaian or one have Egyptian or you, nothing. Nothing. We got to do better as a people. There are plans. Please ask questions. Take advantage of it. I want to see our own schools. There are Jewish schools, there are Chinese schools, there are Islamic schools, there are most every things are going well. What is wrong with us? All we're interested in is just one 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 person wants to do everything and take credit for it himself. All right. I believe you get my point. Yes. There are principles towards succeeding abroad. We can do it. I believe in you. All right. I'll stop here for today. If um, you have questions, please, or you have you have anything against this, please, I'm not right. It's just opinion. Please leave your comments below. Now, we'll go to the next section, the shout outs. Unfortunately, before I go to shout outs for today, I really want to say I am very sorry. I am ashamed of what happened about the, about the protests in Namibia and in Nigeria. The youths failed. Yes, I said it. The youths failed because they let it be hijacked with religion and hunger. People face palliatives, started stealing their own money. This is your own thing. These are money they borrowed on your head, on your children's children's head, and you let the opportunity slip from you. Everybody was proud of you when you stood up. We lost the opportunity. Now we're talking about the same thieves coming back to rule in 2023. Look at in Namibia. Shut it all down. What happened? What changed? All you asked for what happened. Because we did not get it together. It's sad. It is so sad. All those lives just went to there. Shout outs. Please take a look at this. Adebayo Ogunlesi. Yes, Adebayo Ogunlesi is a Nigerian American appointed by the Trump administration as member of his administration's economic advisory forum. Mr. Ogunlesi is chairman of Global Infrastructure Partners, a private equity firm and one of Fortune 500 companies. Mr. Ogunlesi owns five airports. He repeats, yes, five airports in the United Kingdom, including the London Gatwick International Airport. London City Airport, the Endibo Airport, and Novo Transporto via, 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 via Chori. I'm sorry, please. Novo Transporto via Chori. Ogunlesi was the former head of global investment banking at Swiss, Credit Suisse First Boston before being promoted to chief client officer and executive vice chairman. Good job. Did I state that Nigeria doesn't even have a flight air carrier? <laughs> And one of his own citizens owns five airports across the world in first world nations. Number two goes to Kenya. Yes, the the M Pesa. Yes, the M Pesa. This phenomenally successful uh, fin, um, M Pesa in Kenya is the new concept the rest of the world is paying close attention to adopt in the global push for paperless monetary systems. Most Kenyans are subscribed to the mobile app. M-Pesa. M-Pesa means, that's Pesa means money in Swahili. This simple but new way to do business has made a dramatic impact in the lives of Kenyans. Launched by Vodafone's Safaricom mobile operator in 2007 as a simple method of texting small payments between users. Today, there are over 30 million users in 10 countries and a range of services including international transfers, loans, health provisions. The system processed around 6 billion transactions in 2016 at a peak rate of 
529 per second. M-Pesa is also lauded for its social value, offering opportunities for small businesses and playing a significant role in reducing poverty in Kenya and across the region. Number three, Rashid will go to Fez, Morocco. Yes, Rashid Yazami. Rashid Yazami was born in Fez and graduating from the Grenoble Institute of Technology in France. He obtained a PhD in 1985. In 1980, he was the first to discover the reversible intercalation of lithium into graphite. This discovery led to lithium batteries, which are now used across the globe for all kinds of everyday products, such as smartphones, cameras, watches, calculators, and much more. Again, his name, Rashid Yazami. And then take a look at number four. This is Robert Abbott in my own Chicago, USA. Mr. Robert Abbott is, was an, an African-American lawyer and founder of the Chicago Defender. Yes, a post-slavery millionaire who gave voice to the voiceless. The Chicago Defender was one of the most important black newspapers in history in 1905. Without Abbott, there will be no essence, no jet, and its beauty of the week. No black enterprise, no the source, and no the undefeated. Abbott was a catalyst for the great migration at the turn of the 20th century, when six million African Americans from the rural south moved to urban cities in the west, north, northeast and midwest, with 100,000 settling in Chicago. What started off as 25 cents in capital, again, what started off as 25 cents in capital and a four-page pamphlet distributed strictly in black neighborhoods quickly grew into a readership that eclipsed half a million a week at its peak. Those of us in Chicago should pause and say a big thank you to Mr. Abbott. Thank you, sir. And then number five, to Yaoundé Cameron. To the engineer Atta Zhang. Yes, look at it. Kudos to, to a young Cameroonian engineer, Mr. Atta Zhang, for his invention of CardioPad. Atta Zhang develops Africa's first handheld medical computer, CardioPad, CardioPad tablet that helps diagnose people with heart disease. The 25 centimeter touchscreen medical tablet enables health workers to perform cardiac tests such as electrocardiograms at far away remote areas and beyond. The reports are then sent wirelessly to doctors via internet for interpretation. Otto's CardioPod has been validated by the Cameroonian scientific community as extremely effective and it is currently undergoing trials in a number of medical hospitals in Cameroon. Thank you, young man. Thank you, young man, Mr. Atazan. It's amazing. Yes, young men are doing very well. Unfortunately, like I said, in the protests, we let hunger, greed, religion, tribalism overtake our focus. Look at what happened in Sudan. It led to Omar Bashir stepping down. But see, none, none, repeat, zip, none of the things demanded, either in Nigeria, in Namibia, Angola, none was achieved because of greed, because of division. It's not the elders, because we know the elders are corrupt. What would it take for the youth to know better? That's for another day. Thank you very much. Remember, I'm a motivational speaker. If you look, you see my motivational information, my personal information. I'll be very glad to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. I look forward to your... I look, I've been talking around the country, giving speeches around the country. I'll be very glad to visit you and others so that we can discuss one-on-one -on, -one on issues that affect us as a people. I believe in you. I know we will find a way. I know we will do better. I know we will find our feet again. Keep up the good work. Keep in touch. And my car is my name.